So some quick reminders for how to properly, properly hold your instrument and bow. So violinists and violists, make sure that your shoulder rest is on properly. Remember thin chin if you have a um, foam. So the thinner part is by the chin rest here and then the thicker part on the opposite end. Um, if you have this kind of shoulder rest, it goes like this with the thicker part, wider part over by the chin rest. Um, make sure that you are holding it nice and high up on your shoulder, not in front of you or falling down like this or anything like that. Up here, straight wrist, not smashing the egg like that. Curved fingers over the fingerboard. Thumb not sticking up like a hitchhiker, just right here across from your first finger. And then you should be good. And for your bow hand, Violins and violas, bow hand should look like this with your pinky curved on top, thumb curved inside, cellist, same thing. However, your pinky, of course, does not go on top, so you should have a bow hand like this. Remember to lean onto your pointer finger, okay? That really helps with the weight like that. You don't want to be like, you know this with your fingertips, okay? Um, cellos, I'm sorry, I do not have a cello here at home, but make sure it's between your knees and that your feet are flat on the floor, sitting at the edge of your chair, and your cello should be, you know, at a slight angle, not straight up and down, not way out like that, okay? And then cellos, make sure that your thumb is on the thumb cushion, and again, fingers nice and curved. So I hope those pointers help. I know it's hard not having a lesson in person every cycle and seeing me and having me there help you. Um, so do your best with that. Um, you can always email me with any questions, okay? Thanks. Bye.